Hi everyone, Rob O'Neill here, Aylesbury Mon Combat Karate. Welcome to Workout Wednesdays. Today we're going to be looking at a quick way to integrate some basic strength and conditioning techniques in with our sport specific techniques. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at how we can introduce some traditional calisthenic techniques in with our kicking. So we're going to be looking at my Gary, our front kick. So the two techniques that we're going to be using today alongside our My Gary front kick uh, is going to be the bodyweight squat and then a bodyweight shoulder bridge. Uh, now both of these can be externally loaded and quite easily uh, with medicine balls or dumbbells or kettlebells and the like. Uh, for today we're just going to demonstrate them unweighted uh, and we'll demonstrate the correct position for those, the correct execution and then we'll show you how the session as a whole is going to look. So let's look at the bodyweight squat first. So for this technique, I'm gonna have my feet slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. My feet are gonna be facing slightly out, so towards about 10 and two, somewhere between one and two and 10 and 11 on a, on a clock face. Our knees wanna be pointing out over the toes, okay? And it's fine to let your knee travel forward over your toes. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that when we squat down. What we're going to do from that position, our hips are going to break backwards first. So we're going to bend slightly at the hips and our knees are going to follow. And we're going to squat down until at the top of our thigh at least is parallel to the ground. Or if we've got a mirror to the side that we can see ourselves in until the crease in our hips is below our knee. This is the optimal depth that we want to squat to. Um, some people are going to be more mobile and they're going to squat deeper. If your mobility isn't sufficient, um, to squat to this depth or deeper. Um, this is something that we're going to be covering in a later episode. So for now, squat to the deepest that you can comfortably um, and partly that will help increase your mobility, but we'll look at mobility for the squat later anyway. So the te second technique is going to be the bodyweight shoulder bridge. Really simple technique here. We're going to lie on our back on the floor. We're going to have our shoulder blades nice and secure on the floor, our feet nice and close to our behind, so as close as we can get them. Then all we're gonna do by contracting the glutes is lift our hips as high off the floor as we can, brief pause at the top of that movement, then we're gonna control ourselves back down, we don't wanna drop out of this, and then we're gonna repeat that. So we're gonna carry out this little workout session in circuit fashion, and we're gonna alternate our calisthenic techniques with our combative techniques. Now I'm using the My Gary in this session, um, and we're using the squat and the bridge. I personally think the bridge is more important, those glute and hamstring muscles, we're gonna to wanna to strengthen those more than perhaps we need to strengthen our quads. So we're gonna have two sessions of the glute bridge in there, one session of the squat, and then three sessions of the migrate kick to match those. The way we're gonna perform this is bridge, kick, squat, kick, bridge, kick, rest, repeat as many times as you want and as your fitness allows. So for each exercise, we're just gonna do 10 reps. And it seems nice and easy, but we're not pausing between exercises here. We're gonna go all the way through. Uh, so all the way through our 10 squats, 20 bridges, 30 kicks, then we'll rest at the end. Um, as I say, then you can continue on as your fitness level provides. Um, and we're gonna to wanna to rest probably between one and two minutes between each set at the end. So without further ado, let's get straight into looking at how this session is going to look.
That's what one round of our little circuit looks like, combining calisthenics and kicks. So we did five kicks on each side during the kicking section, 10 reps each of our bridge, then our squat, then our bridge. As I say, you now take a, a minute to two minutes rest, repeat that again as many times as you need. So it's really easy to progress this session as we improve. Um, the easiest way is to start adding reps. So if this becomes really easy, um, and we're doing maybe three to five sets of this, we can start making our calisthenics 15, then 20, then 25 reps. Uh, from there, we can weight our calisthenics. So medicine ball held to the chest or on the hips, depending on whether you're talking about the squat or the bridge or a dumbbell to do the same thing. Uh, and then we can look at different techniques from there as well. So we can replace the squat with lunges, Bulgarian split squats, things like that. Uh, replace the shoulder bridges with kettlebell swings, cleans and so on. So this is a really good one. So we can start with this basic point and we can progress this nearly indefinitely. Um, and we can also scale it really easily in a class setting for a wider range of people. So that's just a really easy way to integrate a little bit of strength and conditioning work into our normal training and looking today at kicks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then there's going to be more out later. And uh, if you'd like to see any kind, other kind of content from us, let us know either in the comments or send us a message.